Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. Last time, I went over to Rapala and tried to see what was up with the boat. However, we figured out that the boat's over at Junktown instead. Um, I also f completed a few side quests, uh, like the hide and seek challenge that was going on there for a little bit. And um, we got Hachio in, uh, as a master, and you know, just been doing some work as far as master goes. Uh, as far as masters go, sorry. Oh, there's Bade. Wow, he's very assertive now. Did you hear that dialogue? He's like, we're here to get our boat back. Remember last time we talked to him, you know, he's quite the wimp. Alright, let's follow him. He must be... Get this little new area unlocked. We, we don't need to go through Junktown to get there anymore, but... Get this new little area. It's nothing too special. Got a fishing spot. Um, but, there's a couple fishing spots actually, there's one right here too. But, there's this little house, and I believe that there's something in this house that I want to get. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's this fisherman, working on some new fishing gear. I, I believe that you come to him after you've done a certain amount of fishing. I just want to make sure that I, I, for some reason I felt like a dragon gene was over here or something. It's probably completely wrong. Maybe there's something in his house. But I believe that if you talk to him... Yes, I was right. Look at that, man. My Breath of Fire 3 senses are just on point, dude. How do I... And I just... And I found a random swallow eye. I mean... God, I'm so boss at this game. Anyways, I'm just... I'm just kind of joking around. We find this question mark gene. So, more on that later. Um, anyways, you come back to this guy once you've, like, got all the fish points as much as possible, and I believe he'll give you some uh, really crazy fishing equipment. But anyways, the, the question mark gene is pretty cool. Um, you can use that to turn into a certain type of dragon, and, um, yeah, you know, it's just kind of a for fun gene. Nothing too useful. Let's go to the dock here. Oh, I remember this. We need Momo in the party. I, you know, whenever there's, whenever there's anything technology re uh, related, you like always have to have Momo in the party. I remember. It's stupid. And let's just make sure she's not equipped to anything that I want to part with. Okay, she's not. All right, so let's go over here with Momo, of course. It's kind of funny how much technology and, and machines are uh, all over this world, and, and if, if we didn't have Momo, I don't know what we would do. <laughs> kind of glad that we have her in our party. We wouldn't be, be able to advance in the plot. So it looks like the boat needs fixing again. Man, I wonder how long they've been trying to fe fix this piece of crap. Beat him up, Bade. Beat him up. Show him who's boss. So I guess they don't have the certain parts to fix the ship. So that's what seems to be the problem here. Yes, I am right. You remember me, Bade. I'm sure glad that I don't have Nina in the party. She would have just been like, Oh my god, how's things with Shadis? Let's talk about your love life. Probably irritate the crap out of me. That's right, we need this ship, just like we needed it years ago. Yeah, you can never help us, can you, Bade? You're useless. Yep, it's another waiting game. However, use Momo here. Oh, and she's like, anything I can do to help? You have to have Momo in the front of the party and talk to her, talk to Bade, because 
Well, you know, Momo's the engineer, she's the techie of the group, so after you do that, we'll be able to advance in the plot. I remember as a kid, it took me forever to figure this out. I would, I was going to talk to, like, I remember talking to a bunch of people in the town and at Junk Town to figure out what I need to do next, but this is the certain qualification. You basically just need Momo to talk to Bade, and that gets to this little uh, scenario that happens. Momo does her, you know, comedic, comical routine of um, <laughs> fixing things. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> and I don't, I can't move or anything. This is getting annoying. Come on, man. Hurry it up, no Momo. She says she can fix it, no problem. That's good. And we need to find some parts. We got a memo. And they make the happy music. So we get this crappy drawing of some pictures, and basically we need to go find some parts. You'll have to look around. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta solve all your problems, don't we, Bade? Well, that's alright, though. I mean, I guess that's the reason why we're here as the protagonist of the story, we have to fix everyone's problems. That's the way RPGs work. So now we gotta go ask the Gilsman where to look for parts. What do you say, Gilsman? Yes, I am. You can't ever thank me because, um, that's just the way it works, buddy. Yes, we are. We're going to be doing what you guys should have been doing. Yep. And you're not doing it fast enough. And we got to go see God. So, you know, God doesn't wait for just anybody. We're the protagonist of the story. We got to be searching for parts and doing as best as we can. So we're going to leave here and we're going to go find some parts. Get the hell out of my party, Nina. Why does she always seem to come into the party, like, after things like that happen? It's like she just... It's like the game wants you to play her. To go get parts, we need to go over to Steel Beach. And by the way, I'm gonna call this... This team is called Team Beast Mode. You're gonna see why. So we get this crazy, weird music, very mysterious stuff going on over here at the Machine Guild, at Steel Beach. Oh, what? Oh, that's right, 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 right. We actually need to, we need to talk to the Guild's member, uh, the Machine Guild person, who's ever, uh, what am I looking for the words to say? Um, we're looking for the person who's in charge of Steel Beach. We need to talk to them in order to get authorization to look for parts. So I forgot about that little piece of information. I believe he's in here? No, that doesn't look right. There he is. You can tell by his tough guy sprite. Chief! Ah. <sighs> Yep, that's what I'm saying, so you should just let me in. So, after we've talked to the chief, he tells us now we can go over to Steel Beach. So that's pretty good. You'd think that you could look into these heaps of trash to figure out if we can find any parts, but I guess that'll prove to be kind of a waste of time or something. So now, after talking to the chief, now we can get authorization to look for parts at Steel Beach. So now this guy shouldn't give us any trouble for walking past here. Oh, what do you want now? We talked to him, dude. Yes, we have your master's permission. That's not my master. I don't know what you're talking about. My master is Imatai. So now that we have um, authorization to go through here, I think the, th the next thing we need to do is talk to this guy. We want to go inside this freighter to look for parts. 
And the freighter's over to the wet, uh, to the west of the, where I'm at right now. Oh God, I got someone big right here, man. He's bigger than you. His name is Gar. He's a guardian. He's been slaying dragons for years. And I'm a dragon. What is what does my size have to do with looking for parts? I don't understand here. Yeah, I am pretty buff, dude. So, now we have a little bit of a challenge here. We have a little mini game here that I personally hate. And he's going to explain it here. When he raises the white flag, he's going to pull on the rope. And then he's going to stop. And that number there is how much rope he has to drag in. When he raises the red flag, I pull the rope. So, and I hit, I hit the X button repeatedly. So I'm just going to do that right now. I'm just smashing on the X button. Now, the trick of the matter is, uh, or what am I even saying? Why do I get caught up in my words like that? What the hell's wrong with me? The trick to this minigame is is that you can be, if you are too far off from me, your, your buddy, that, that big guy, if you're too far off from his number, the rope is going to slip. He's, he's trying to explain it right here. So basically, you'll know that it's getting too far off when the numbers start turning red. That's when you have to kind of slow down your, um, right there. You got to slow down your mashing of the X or else it's going to slip like that. And through slipping, you're going to have to cr do this whole entire mini game all over again. So I'm going to do the best as I can to do it the first time, um, get it right the first time, rather than, you know, messing up and everything like that. So hope that I, I'm hoping I can do it this first recording. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Trained monkey can do this. Okay, alright, let's do this. No save states. Alright, don't okay. They tried to slip me up there. They didn't say that they were gonna be timing incorrectly like that. So it looks good so far. Doing pretty good. Don't hit X by the way when he's he's reeling in. I'm sure that there's a consequence for that. Okay, both of them are up, so you gotta be pulling. And this is where it gets tricky. You gotta make sure that the buttons aren't red. Stop pulling, stop pulling! Damn it! Alright. Alright, I failed. Okay, God. Looks like I didn't pull fast enough. Gonna have to try this again. Alright, let's try this one more time. Okay, try number two here. Let's see if I can get it. A little bit irritated that I couldn't do a first try. Alright, now I'm gonna be mashing on this X button hella fast. I'm not playing around anymore. You know what, like, screwed me up was the fact that that monkey guy right there in front of us... Well, God damn it! are you serious? I hit X, like, right after he dropped the flag. Come on! Oh, my God. Take three. Alright, third try. Let's get this right. Come on, now. This is a bunch of bullshit that's happening right now. It's not like I, I was doing anything that wrong. I hate this minigame. Alright, I gotta concentrate. God, this is, this is stressful. I am, like, tensed up right now. Plus the fact that time is, like, gonna happen pretty soon. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this before the episode ends, I'll be honest. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mash an X, mash an X. God damn it! Alright, next episode, guys. This is getting ridiculous. Next episode, we are going to pass this mini-quest. 